In this problem, we have a robotic punching machine that moves with a velocity drawn in the direction of the diagram that is attached to three arms, arm AB, which is attached to BC, which is then attached to CD. Uh, we're given the velocities, angular velocities and accelerations of these arms, and we're asked to find, given that this um, boxing glove moves at a maximum velocity of one meter per second, again constant, what is the velocity and acceleration of the glove uh, at the instant shown? So when the glove is attached to um, this mechanism. And so we're going to start this problem. Well, as you can see, this problem, uh, first of all, arm AB is stationary, um, as given in the question. So we can kind of uh, neglect this section of the um, this portion of the diagram and start from B, since we know that B will be fixed. And for all of these problems, you always want to start with location that is fixed, that has no velocity or acceleration, and then work your way up down the structure to get to the point of interest or the velocity that you're interested in. Um, and so again, um, this we're going to draw our diagram on top of um, this diagram. But what you can see from here is that um, the uh, this section here, our BC, is going to have, again, an, an angular velocity of 2 radians per second, and if we draw in our coordinate system, x is positive that way, y is positive that way, and again, rotation is positive when counterclockwise. Um, so again, we can label this as uh, counterclockwise. And this is going to be our omega BC. And similarly, we can um, do this for uh, arm CD. Now, omega CD is actually in the opposite direction, um, so because it's negative, um, so it's going to point this way. And these were both given. Then we can also do the same for uh, acceleration. Um, so angular acceleration here is also positive, so this is alpha BC, and it's positive for this section here, um, alpha CD. And again, um, this is going to be fixed because of this uh, stationary arm AB. And then we're also given that um, this glove here is going to have a velocity, a relative velocity of maximum of one meter per second. And this is um, relative to the link CD. Okay, so this is not the absolute velocity with respect to this stationary point. This is a relative velocity between this link here and uh, the glove over here. And so as you can see, this is a fixed reference, but we also have a rotating frame. Um, and that is because at this point, um, at D here, um, we have a rotating reference system that we're going to call uh, x, prime, x prime and y prime. So as you can see, uh, x prime and y prime make up the rotating reference system. And this reference system is specific to the glove because the glove has a velocity of one meter, a constant one meter per second velocity relative to link CD. And so in whichever way link CD is pointing, um, that velocity of the glove will be added along that direction, so with the rotation of CD. And that's why we have a rotating reference frame along with our fixed reference frame that um, is going to start at a and this is x and y okay so this is our diagram and what we're asked to find is the velocity and the acceleration at the uh, glove and so in this um, example here we're going to assume the glove to be right after d so i'm going to draw it in red here right there um, right at d um, and so in this diagram shows some extra distance over here, but this is actually not, we're not looking at the velocity here, we're actually looking right there. So we're going to start with our equations, some equations from a formula sheet, um, and we're going to review them. Uh, so again, like I said, this here is not moving, so we can just disregard it and start our analysis from this fixed point B. Um, and since we're given the angular velocity and acceleration of this um, bracket, we can actually find the velocity and the acceleration at this point, given that this point has no velocity. Uh, so uh, we know that this, whenever we have a point with no velocity, we can simply apply the formula uh, Vc is equal to uh, omega Vc cross product Rc with respect to d. And this is because um, our velocity at B is zero. If we had a velocity at B, we had to have to add it as an extra term. So again, our radius of C with 
respect to B. Sorry, this is wrong over here. Is going to be drawn in orange over here. So it starts from B and it points to C. This is R of C with respect to B. And um, we can find that because we're given that angle and we're given the length of the arm segment. Um, so uh, writing it down, omega B with respect to C is uh, two radians per second in the k-hat direction. That's out of the page and it's positive because it's counterclockwise. Um, cross product to um, 0 0.6 times cosine of 50 degrees uh, in the i-hat direction and plus 0 0.6 sine of 50 degrees in the j hat direction. And if we solve this cross product, we get that VC is equal to uh, 1.2 times cos of 50 degrees in the j hat direction minus sine of 50 degrees in the i hat direction. And this is meters per second. We found the velocity at C. Now we do the same process to find the acceleration at C. Um, now remember the velocity is always going to be uh, tangential. Um, the acceleration is not. The acceleration is going to have a tangential component and it's going to have a radial component which together they add up um, to uh, an acceleration that is in none of the two directions. It's in between those two directions. Um, so again um, you can pull this formula off of your uh, formula sheet um, but that radial component. Uh, so again, acceleration at C is going to be equal to uh, the acceleration at B plus the angular acceleration of BC cross product to the radius of C with respect to B minus omega BC squared RC with respect to B. And so as you can see, this is going to be our tangential component, and this is going to be a radial component because it's in the radial direction. So we can again plug all of these values in because we have all of these values. Uh, this here is 0 because there's no acceleration at B. Um, and so we can solve for AC. Uh, so I'm going to write it out. Uh, so alpha BC is 1 meter or radian per second squared in the k hat direction. And this is cross product to that same radius that we had before, 0 0.6 cos of 50 degrees in the i hat direction plus 0 0.6 sine of 6 of 50 degrees in the j hat direction. And then we have our other term, which is going to be omega bc squared, uh, which is 2 squared, which is going to be 4. Uh, times the um, vector of the radio of the radial direction, which is the same as we had before, 0 0.6 cos of 50 degrees in the i hat direction plus 0 0.6 sine of 50 degrees in the j hat direction, and we can solve for this um, by joining the i and j components of uh, the two terms, and this is the final answer: 0 0.6 cos of 50 j hat on a 0 0.6 sine of 50 degrees i hat minus 2.4 cos of 50 degrees in the i hat minus 2.4 sine of 50 degrees in the j hat direction. Now we're, we have all of the velocities and accelerations at point uh, C. Uh, so I'm going to draw them in here. Uh, I'm going to draw them in purple. Um, so we have we're going to have our the our acceleration, which is going to point in some direction, and we have our velocity, which is purely tangential. So this is going to be v c, and this is going to be uh, a c. Now, based on these velocities at this point, and velocity and acceleration, um, and the angular velocity and angular acceleration of the next arm, we can find the um, acceleration, velocities and accelerations at point D. Next, we're going to solve the velocity and acceleration at point D. Now, the same exact formulas apply, um, just like this and this. 
Um, but in this case, we do have an initial velocity and acceleration. So this term is going to be non-zero, and this equation is going to have an added term um, with the uh, velocity of the uh, point C. Uh, but um, we also have to note that we're trying to find the velocity and acceleration after the attachment of point D. So um, to make that more clear, at point D, before we attach any of this, um, the velocity and acceleration are going to be given by VC, AC, and then uh, some terms that come from uh, the angular acceleration and velocity of this arm. And this is before the um, glove. We actually need to find the acceleration and velocity at the at the glove, which is after this glove attaches. So that point, which we call D, is going to have not is going to also have a component that comes from the relative acceleration of this boxing glove, uh, relative velocity of this boxing glove, with respect to C D, which was that maximum of one meter per second. So when I refer to D, I don't refer to the point D before the glove. This is going to be the point after the glove uh, is attached. Um, again, this glove, if we had to calculate the actual velocity and acceleration at the glove here, we'd have some extra distance here, which would impact the results. So for simplicity, we're looking at the acceleration and velocity at the point right here, right after the glove is attached. Uh, so this is going to be uh, the same exact uh, equation for velocity um, with an added term for that rotating frame uh, because there's that relative velocity of d with respect to c. Um, so vd, which is the velocity of the glove, is going to be um, vc, which is the velocity before the link, so at point c where the link is attached, uh, plus omega cd cross product to R of D with respect to C. This is exactly the same formula as we had before, just with that initial term. And now we're going to add our relative velocity plus uh, V of D with respect to C. And this is again in the X prime, Y prime, Z prime rotating coordinate system. And we have all of these values. Um, so we can just plug them in and solve for um, VD. Uh, so I'm going to plug them in 1.2 cos of 50 degrees in the j-hat direction, minus 1.2 sine of 50 degrees in the i-hat direction, plus negative 0.25 in the k-hat direction, cross product to 0.4 cos of 15 degrees, i-hat plus 0.4 sine of 15 degrees in the j-hat direction plus cos of 15 in the i-hat direction, plus sine of 15 in the j-hat direction. And again, this here is our vc that we calculated over here. I just simplified it. Um, and this term here is going to be our cross product. And this here is our relative velocity, again, in that coordinate system. So here comes the 15, right? The 15 degrees, the cosine and sine. And there's no number because the magnitude is one meter per second. We're looking at the maximum. All right, and so now we can uh, simplify this and solve for it in the i and j components, which is going to yield the following numbers. 0 0.0726 i hat plus 0.934 the j hat direction meters per second. This is VD. So now we're going to be solving for the acceleration at D. So AD is going to have the same format as AC, just in terms of uh, CD. Um, so it's going to be equal to AC plus alpha cd cross product to r of d with respect to c. And now we're going to add another term, which is, um, again, that radial term, which is negative omega cd squared times r of d with respect to c. And we're going to add two more terms um, because of that rotating reference frame. Uh, so the first term is 2 omega cd 
the cross product to B of C with respect to D in the X prime, Y prime, Z prime direction, plus A of D with respect to C again in the X prime, Y prime, Z prime direction. And again, as you can see, this is the acceleration at C. This is the tangential acceleration at D from C. Um, and this is the radial. So these two make the acceleration of C with respect, of D with respect to C. Um, and then we have these two um, terms here that, that add that um, reference frame with, because we have that relative velocity of um, D with respect to DC. Um, and um, again, this term here, the last term is going to be equal to zero because um, there's a constant velocity, so no acceleration. Um, and uh, meanwhile, this term will be non-zero. So we can again plug in values and solve for AD because we have everything. So AC we found before, negative 0 0.6 sine of 50 degrees, the I hat direction minus 2.4 cos of 50 degrees in the i hat direction minus 2.4 sine of 50 degrees in the j hat direction plus 0 0.6 cos of 50 degrees in the j hat direction and we have plus 0 0.25 k cross product to 0 0.4 cos of 15 degrees in the i hat direction plus 0 0.4 sine of 15 degrees in the j hat direction plus 2 times negative 0 0.25 k cross product to cos of 15 degrees in the i hat direction plus sine of 15 degrees in the j hat direction minus 0 0.25 squared 0 0.4 cos of 15 degrees in the i hat direction plus 0 0.4 sine of 15 degrees in the j hat direction plus that last term which is zero and if we solve for everything and solve for the um, I and J components, we get negative 1.9392 meters per second squared in the I hat direction and negative 1.85 in the J hat direction. This is meters per second squared. And this is the acceleration at point 